Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Moments with Kate, where I talk about skincare, hair care, and wellness. So if that sounds like your sort of thing, make sure you're subscribed down below. I've had a really, really long day at work. I'm exhausted, I'm ready to just do my skincare routine and go to bed, but I wanted to try out something for a video, and it is this skin pen. It's like a digital skin analyzer, detector, whatever you want to call it. I found it at Walmart, and what it does is it measures the moisture and the oil levels of your skin. And I pay a fair amount of money for my skincare products. I have really dry skin, so I hope that they're going to boost my oil and moisture levels, but I thought I might as well actually try it and see if that's the case. This pen was about 20 or $30. As I said, I got it at Walmart. It ended up shipping like six weeks later, so I think it came from Asia, which is where most of these are from. So if not Walmart, I'm sure you can find them on tons of other websites, but it actually does work. I tried it out. And all you do is you just turn it on, you hold it to your skin, you wait for it to sort of power up, it says it's measuring, wait, 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 and it tells me I'm super low on everything. So I know that I have dry skin, but I wanted to see throughout my skincare routine if anything spikes or dips, just so I know if it's actually worth the purchase of these products. I have seven popular products I'll be walking through today from a face cleanser all the way up to a face oil, which is the last step in my PM routine, and we'll just see how it goes. Um, some things to note, I'm gonna be measuring the exact same part of my face just so it doesn't have biased results, and I'm gonna make sure that the products sink in before I actually measure, because of course if I wash my face, I don't want water droplets to be um, sort of messing up the results. I'm going, I'm gonna measure my face with what I have right now just so we can take note. And I don't have any makeup on, just what I worked with today, so we'll take a note there. So it is 21% moisture and 31% oil, which is apparently not good. So it has a red face or a green face, depending on what they think the healthy level is. And so we'll see what we can do here. So 21% moisture, 31% oil, that's what we're starting with. The first product I'm going to be trying out is the First Aid Beauty Skin Cleanser. A lot of their products are the same and they're surrounded around hydration. Um, soothing, nourishment, things like that. And so I'm really hoping that this will sort of boost a bit of moisture in my skin, even though face cleansers tend to strip the oils and things like that. I've been using this because it really seems like it shouldn't or doesn't. So we'll see if that's the case. I'll wash my face and we will test it. All right, all done washing my face. I took note of the type of um, face wash it is, I'll show you. It's like a, uh, almost like a cream. So you can see it's not like a gel or a foam or anything that's going to be an astringent and strip my skin. So when I do use this, I my skin doesn't feel tight or anything like that. So I am really hoping that it, it boosts up the moisture for me. I'm just making sure my skin is fully dry just to make sure that the water droplets don't um, manipulate the results. Okay, dry as a bone. We're going in. So we had 21 and 31 last time. And we'll see what we get now. 19% and 28%. So it did go down, not by much, but I guess it's not the most surprising thing since face washes do sort of clean your skin and strip any sort of oil and stuff that was on there. So it didn't like fully suck everything, but it did go down a bit, unfortunately. So we'll see what happens with the next step. Okay, next, I know it's gonna be stripped, unfortunately. I don't use this often, but this is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. And this baby is strong. It is just something that you put on right after you wash your face and it pulls out any sort of gunk and really just sets your face up for the next steps. But it is really strong on my skin. It burns a bit, so I rarely use it. But I wanted to see just how much it's going to strip my skin. So I'm kind of scared, but I'm really, really curious to see how low we can get this number. And then hopefully it can go right back up. So we'll see. I'm just using a cotton pad, but you can also apply this just with um, directly on your hands and patting it on. So there's two options there. So I will just put this all over my face, avoiding my eye area. And what I use this for now actually is deodorant. It makes a fantastic deodorant. It's uh, it just like attacks the bacteria and just cleans your armpit instead of like masking it with floral scent. So it really gets to the root of the problem and you can eliminate deodorant after a while. So I've been using it for that and that's much better for me. Okay, so I'll let it sink in. It doesn't seem to be burning, I'm impressed. And look, <laughs> I just washed my face, but it still finds 
still finds little dust particles. You can't really see that, but pretty, pretty sketchy. Okay, I'll wait for that to dry. But yeah, no tingling. I'm surprised. I'm impressed. I might have to use this on my armpits and my face. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see how stripping this is. Maybe some elevator music. <laughs> oh God. Ah, 14% and 21%. Okay, yeah, this is stripping, which I, I knew, I knew. So I really should only be using this when my skin is super clogged, but damn, that dropped a lot. Okay, so as predicted, the Ordinary is, uh, their toner is very harsh and stripping, but it is good for some skin types. Next is this Sior's Time is Running Out Mist. It is one of my favorite mists. It's really neat because it has like that layer of oil and when you mix it up, it kind of looks like a lava lamp. But what I like about this is they actually use local ingredients based on when they're in season. So if, you know, it's spring and certain ingredients are in season that are good for this spray, they'll use those, but the fall different. So your mist is always a little different each time you get it, which is interesting, but I like it a lot. It's lightweight, but it has a lot of oil in it. So I'm hoping this will spike up the numbers. Let's see. Dry, 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 dry. 14, 21. So it's really not doing much. Hmm. Maybe because the spray is so like widespread, it's not thorough. So it's hitting some parts, but not the others. And I felt that before. It's like a pretty heavy drop stream. I wish there was something a bit more like constant spray so I can get it all. But that's good to know that it helps a bit, but not a ton. That's really weird. Okay, next step is a serum. This serum is the Honeymoon Glow Serum. I've been using this for a while now. Aside from just how gorgeous the bottle is, it's actually a really nice serum. It has um, hydrating honey in it, so we'll see if that's actually the case. It also has AHA, so it's great for resurfacing and getting rid of any pimples or things like that. So I've loved using it. It does tingle a bit. Um, some of my friends say it really burns and hurts your skin, so just be careful if that's something that you want to try out. Um, but let's see if it actually is hydrating. I use about a pump and a half. That's all I really need, and I focus it around my chin area because that's my problem area. And I just do that. I get it all up in here. Okay, we'll just let this dry and hopefully we'll start to see things turn around. Eighteen twenty-seven. Okay, so it's getting back up there. That's a pretty good jump. Not the best, we're still in red and we, all, we have three steps left. Oh my God, what a roller coaster. Okay, we really need to bump this up, let's hope. Okay, next I have Bacuchiole, Bacuchiole. It's from the Inky List and I love this ingredient. It's considered a cream, but you can sort of infuse it in every step. It's just a plant, but it acts like a retinol without the harsh purging or side effects and you can use it while you're pregnant and breastfeeding. So I started with this before I got into retinol because I was like trying to ease my way in. It does take a while to work. It takes about 12 weeks to see the difference, but well worth the wait. It's so easy and carefree to use. Normally I wouldn't use this many like strong active ingredients in one routine, but I thought we might as well test it all while we're here. So this one will be next. And since it's a cream based, I am expecting it to jump with both oil and moisturizer. So I'll just work that in everywhere. I avoid my eye area again, just cause it's not made for around the eyes and I don't want to hurt my skin there cause it is so, so thin. Dry, 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 dry. Okay, that soaked up quickly. And we shall see. Nineteen twenty-nine. We're inching. We're inching. Okay, we gotta get a green. Ah. Okay, the last two steps are a deep sleeping mask, like a thick moisturizer, and a face oil. If these two don't do it. Either this is broken or I have no faith in skincare anymore, which is saying a lot because I'm obsessed with skincare. Okay, let's move on. We're gonna do the Youth to the People Dream Mask. People love this mask. I love this mask, it's almost empty. And it's just like a thick, creamy, whipped 
um, moisturizer that you just put a nice thick layer on and go to bed and you wake up feeling amazing. So let's do that. I won't put as thick of a layer on because again, I just want to see accurate results through my skin. So we'll put a bit on and we'll pray. This one is very similar to the, what's it called? The pharmacy one, the honey, oh my God. Honey glow, honey, it's the new one. It's like butter, it's very, very similar. I can't believe I can't remember it, I love that one. Otis, you wanna say hi to everybody? Say hi. Otis loves hanging out in the bath while I do things in here. He's so funny. He loves water so much, so normally I just like turn the tap on a little bit for him to drink and play in, but not right now. <laughs> so funny. Okay, this is dry. Let's see what happens. Oh, I thought it was green for a second. Got excited. 18% moisture, 27% oil. So none of these have really been moisturizing at all, but my oil is going up, which isn't like, Sure, that's nice, but it's still not enough, and that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for moisture. What the heck? Okay, final step is a face oil, and then we'll summarize and see how it goes. I'm so sad. Okay, last step. I'm going to be going in with a Marilla oil. This is the Ordinary 100% Cold Press Marilla oil. This is a fantastic oil for the hair, for the face. It's very thick, though, so you tend to try and mix it in with other things. So I'll add a few drops to the face, and... If this doesn't get us to green, I don't know. All right. You can see, like, that is looking pretty moisturized to me. But now I have trust issues. What the heck? Okay. I'll just let that sink in for a few minutes and then we'll, we'll test. All right, I've let it sink, sunk in for a bit. It's still gonna show that it's oily, and I, I hope so, because I hope it's gonna look like this kind of in the morning too, so we'll see. Final step, get us to green. I'm like standing as still as possible as if that's gonna make a difference. <laughs> no. Okay, 22% moisture, 34% oil. So we never got there. But I'm gonna take it as a grain of salt. Who knows what like what this pen is even capable of doing. Obviously it's measuring something kind of accurately, but I would rather just go to a dermatologist or an expert and actually have them tell me if my skin's too dry. But it was fun. I'll keep trying it with other products and see. I'm just not too sold on the pen. So I'll try some more like different combinations and things like that, but it was fun. I am definitely gonna look at my products a little different now. Um, but I have an insane amount of products, so I'll try a few new routines. So hopefully that was helpful. If you like the products and you didn't like the results, don't worry about it. Keep using them if you enjoy them and you like the way your skin is behaving. And yeah, I hope um, it was helpful in some way, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.